Hey there, everyone. This is Snow Cow playing Mega Man! Dr. Wily's Revenge. This is the only game I couldn't find a Japanese version somehow. Uh, yeah, 1991 was a busy year for the Mega Mans. Because you see, it turns out Mega Man 3 was a huge success, and Capcom really wanted to capitalize on that. In addition, uh, a new thing, this thing here called the Game Boy started to exist and it caught a lot of attention as a means to make quick money. Weird how that works out. Apparently this game is pretty bad, but, I mean, can it be any worse than a certain other game I've played? Okay, that's how it works. Okay, so yeah, I just kind of went to elect my- wow, Yoku. Wow, they're even flat Yoku blocks, huh? Where did I just see that recently a lot? <laughs> so in there on Snow Cow, playing the 2D game, no colors, no worries. Uh, there's a big old sphere with electrical powers attached to it. How's it going? In there on Snow Cow, Mega Man, the search for the crust. Uh, big time, big names. I'm just... These Yoku jumps, the jumps periods are really floaty. I don't know, there's something real awkward about them. So I can go like, yeah, there we go, I did it. I solved the puzzle, lightning everywhere, looking like black scribbles. Yeah, now that's what I call a good time. But look, like even though, so... The Game Boy games just kind of, like, retake concepts from the NES game, that's fine. Like, Mega Man 3 was released before this, and then here we are, like, remaking Mega Man 1, but... Like, everything is different, like, Mega Man didn't have Suzy Bots before, and now it does, and my health is getting real low. And, like, there was that, like, the addition of those little fan box gimmicks, like, that's pretty exciting. Nothing gets me excited more than little fan box. It's like, wow, I got air. Now we're outside, there's clouds, and see, there's there's Chairman Goro just kind of pushing the beads. Let's go! Slow-moving cloud showing the way. And you can see the brilliant uh, military tactician mind of Lightning Goro here What with throwing a lightning bolt straight in front of him where no enemies can be found. Someone surrounded my ladder with white. I'm so mad I'm gonna shoot this thing until it dies. Man, there's like Yoku's everywhere. This is Yoku Central. It's look, so much Yoku, you'll go Goku, as they say. That's a real, man, lightning bolt outside. I don't know about that. You might like hurt a bird or something. Got a visible one up spot on, on the screen at all time, which normally Mega Man games don't do. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me! Just got this big poopy poopy cloud just sitting there. Whoa! Spikes, wind, lightning, fire, chairs, goggles, instruments of uh, temporal malnutrition, everything. That guy's gonna shoot me and I'm, I'm gonna be dead. That guy's gonna shoot me, I'm gonna be dead. Alright. At some point, someone's gonna shoot me, and I'm going to be dead. Man, this level, like, doesn't ever end, apparently. <laughs> this is a very long level. I don't know, it just, I it, think it, it seems long to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not that long, but there are multiple rooms. There's, like, more than one room in the Mega Man game. I don't get it. Like, last game I played, no, Dr. Wily. Most levels were, like, one room, and that felt like a Mega Man game. Check out that sweet wallpaper action that Electman had installed in the space base. Alright, this is hard. You gotta go up the ladder and the lightning goes brr 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 brr. Gotta do it again, except this time instead of lightning, it's, you know, Octo uh, Artillery. Welcome to the Artillery Club, featuring me as Blinking Looney Tunes. Uh, I'm gonna get this health here. Whoa, whoa it's like a hell it gone to my bar, it's not on the top, screens in the bob, that changes everything. Worst game in the universe. Let's go! Alright, I'm gonna repeat this screen verbatim. And you know, it's to show like, doing it one time just means you can do it one time. Being able to do- There's no change to your graphics, except sometimes you're in the air. Alright. 
Like, you know, like, just doing it one time means you might just have been lucky, but if you do it twice, no, that shows mastery. That's how it works. Dang it! That's why a lot of ROM hacks makes you play a thing, like, three times in a row. Alright? I like how we saw the door come down. That- Die! It's game down again! Oh no, I've locked it! Oh yeah, it's a leg man! I don't know if his pattern changed any. But he jumps around a lot. He's gonna knee me in the face. Don't knee me in the face! No kneeing the Mega Man in the face! He's there, he ran into me. He's like, oh, I got lightning power! Whoa! So I got him halfway down his health. With me having no health. Maybe things are gonna be alright. Like, a leg man was genuinely kind of a thing on the... On the old NES, so here you know he's doing his cool ninja moves here, while I'm doing my potato stand around moves. Okay, so once again, if you shoot him, his electricity doesn't come out. You see, pain cancels out electricity, because if you get electrocuted, you don't feel anything. Well, it works the other way around too. If ever you are getting electrocuted, just like stomp on your foot with a hammer or something. Whoa, I can move around, pose, boss, destruction. This is not like the Mega Man I know! A uh, water refund! Check it out! Whoa! Uh, am I gonna have to tag this for gore here? This is really unsettling. <laughs> you got classic style password. What else can you want, really? That's a- Whoa, check! You don't have portraits. They just hang around. Mega Man 3 made portraits. Maybe this was made during Mega Man 3. Maybe that's why they were putting this info in all the Mega Man 1 guys. Whoa, it press down, you go back up. You can warp through space-time in this menu. The most powerful menu ever seen. 